Hello everyone, and welcome to my restaurant. I'm glad we could have this little sit down today, as the dawn of this family and menu gaming worldwide, it gives me great pleasure to pass down to you my knowledge of menu games to help you achieve ultimate success. My name is Marty Meatballs, and on behalf of my family, I welcome all of you. Please take a seat. Now, whether you're new to the channel, like my pal Ezra Bright, or returning again, I hope you're excited to learn some tried and true techniques to winning all the games on the back of the kids' menu. Ever since I was young, I didn't like these menu makers. They'd come into my city, into my restaurant, and try to trick me. And my family, I don't think so. It's why I devoted my life to these games and why I enjoy teaching you all how to win. It's nothing personal, strictly business. And I mean no disrespect to these menu makers, but if you keep watching my show, they don't stand a chance. Let's start today with the classic, Everyone Loves the Maze. Now in previous episodes of OP Gaming, I provided some helpful techniques on how to solve a maze like to look both ways before you cross the street, or the never retrace your steps. But in honor of the incredible guests we have here today, I'm going to bring out the best advice I've ever given. Many people have seen me get a maze right on the first try, called me lucky. But luck? is when an opportunity comes along and you've prepared for it. And now, thanks to Marty Meatballs, you're prepared. Now see here, this sentence says that you need to get the chef to her food so that she can cook, cook the spaghetti. And they make you think you have to take the chef to the food. You just start drawing lines and boom, you hit a wall. You keep hitting all these walls and now you got a mess. Why do you have to bring the chef to the food? I say, bring the food to the chef. Don't start here. Instead, go backwards through the maze. Start at the end and work your way to the beginning. You'll be through this maze in no time. You'll come out on top. Oh, and the best part is, the chef has her food and everyone gets to eat spaghetti. Now on to game two of three in today's episode, Word Scrambles. Did you know that in the English language alone, there are over 170,000 words currently being used? I do. So do the menu makers. So they put a list of words with scrambled letters on the menu and try and overwhelm your brain with thousands and thousands of words. Here, look. Stepaz. All me tab. A cause. Keschuskis. And before you know it, I'm trying to find a needle in a haystack. And here's the thing. When the food gets here, Ma's gonna say it's time to put down the crown and eat your meal. And you gotta listen to Ma, so you don't have time to think about thousands of words. Are you kidding me? You barely, you barely have time for a hundred words. And they know this, and they try and use this information and wonderful family time against you. They think it's funny. But I say, funny? Funny how? Funny like I'm a clown? No way. When I see words scramble on the menu, I immediately look up and take note of the present surrounding. Because the trick to overpower this game is remembering that context is everything. There's a theme going on, and these words gotta fit in. So if I'm at a seafood restaurant, I'm looking for words like water, boat, fish, maybe sushi. Today, when I look around, I see I'm in an Italian restaurant. 
on Long Island, and I immediately know what to look for. Whatever these words are, they gotta fit in. So I'm only thinking Italian, and immediately these words come unscrambled. The first one, pasta. The second one, meatball. Boom! So easy, right? The third one, no disrespect, but come on. It isn't even a challenge. Sauce. <laughs> and finally, and watch for this, they always like to put dessert last. Cheesecake. I'm hitting all these home runs so far. You might confuse me with the Sultan of Swat, the King of Crash, the Colossus of Clout, the great Bambino himself, Babe Ruth. We got time for one more game before we close for the night. Let me show you how to beat tic-tac-toe. You know, I'm gonna tell you a little story. For many of you, you're like me. You got a big family. And they're all around the dinner table with you. You're trying to wait patiently for the waiter to bring you another bottle of Yoo-Hoo, and you need something to do. Then out of nowhere, your big brother, Vinny Blue Eyes, slides his menu in front of you and says, a little too loudly, I might add, let's play a game. <laughs> he's challenged you to a duel and thinks that because he's got more years on this earth, he's got more wisdom too. But this channel isn't called OP Gaming for nothing. Listen to me very carefully. There are three ways of doing things in this situation. The right way, the wrong way, and the way that I do it. You understand? Take good notes. You're going to want to follow me step by step. Now your first move in this situation, pick a corner, <laughs> any corner, and put your first circle there. He's going to think you messed up because most everybody thinks the ideal spot on the board is in the center. But not so fast, smart guy. You just walked right into my trap. After he puts his X in the center, I'm gonna put my circle in the opposite. He's gonna see the corners getting filled faster than my face on lasagna night. And 82.5% of the time, he's putting an X in a corner as well, threatening to win the game. <laughs> he's gonna start laughing real loud asking me if I'm nervous, trying to get the attention of the other cousins at the table. But just remember, the loudest in the room is the weakest in the room. Calmly fill that last corner with your circle. Looky there, now you got two spots for tic-tac-toe, and he's only got one move to make. Everything for this point forward is a formality, as you've already won the game. Wait for him to draw his next X, which path does he block? <laughs> you got the other one to win. It doesn't matter, baby. Boom. So there you have it, friends. The menu makers have been taken down yet again. They proved to be no match for Marty Meatballs. Until next time, friends. So long. This has been OP Gaming. Don't forget to tip your waiters on the way out. <laughs> <laughs>